the response to our last AI music production tools video was awesome. So we wanted to take some time and find three more insane AI music production tools that you can get into. And if you haven't checked out that video, be sure to check it out now by clicking this link. All right, so the three tools we're gonna check out today are Producer Copilot, Waves Online Mastering, and Mastering the Mixes Fuser. All three of these tools can help you dramatically in various aspects of your production, and it really shows where AI is heading inside this landscape. Producer Copilot, an intelligent production assistant, Waves Online Mastering, an intelligent mastering service, and Mastering the Mixes Fuser, a mixing plugin to intelligently resolve masking and frequency conflicts. Stick around, you're gonna wanna see these in action. All right, so let's dive into it and start with Producer Copilot. Copilot is absolutely insane. It's an AI music production assistant that works through a Discord DM. Any single question you have about music production, this thing can answer. It's absolutely crazy how it works. And I think the best way to show you is to just give you an example. Let's say you're sitting at your DAW and you're struggling to write a chord progression. You can go to Producer Copilot and ask it, give me a four chord progression in the style of Odessa. After a few moments, it will spit out an awesome chord progression with a lot of context surrounding why this sounds like Odessa and what you can do further to make your music sound like that. But we can take this even further. Let's say you try putting this chord progression in your DAW and you don't really like it. Well, you can just ask Producer Copilot to give you several variations of this. And then after a short time, it'll send you a bunch more options for you to use. Now, if you thought that was cool, you're in for a real treat. Let's say you're having latency issues in Ableton Live. Well, we can ask producer Copilot about it. And after a few moments, it'll give you a bunch of solutions for how to fix those latency issues. Now, because producer Copilot is made with music production specifically in mind, you can ask it really simple questions like, can you set a challenge for me? It'll already know what you're talking about and it'll spit out an awesome challenge for you to help increase your production skills. Copilot can also help you with real-time knowledge, meaning you could ask it something like, what are the top three songs on Beatport for Deep House, and can you give me a BPM and chord progression that matches them in style? Producer Copilot will spit out an awesome chord progression that takes all of that into account. It's pretty crazy how quickly this could jumpstart an idea and put you in line with some of your favorite artists that you're trying to replicate to some degree. Obviously, you can use this within reason, and if you prefer to create ideas ideas 100% by yourself, you're obviously always welcome to. But for those that sometimes struggle with coming up with an idea off the get-go, this is an amazing tool for that. Producer Copilot is continuously being updated. Remember the first example where I asked for it to give us a chord progression in the style of Odessa? Well, pretty soon, you'll be able to have it actually give you MIDI files of those chord progressions. Pretty rad, right? A public version of Producer Copilot is just on the horizon, but if you're interested in learning more information now and potentially even being able to beta test this while it's being developed, you can follow the link in the description or click here and simply put in your information on our website to be notified as soon as it's available to you. Next, we have Waves Online Mastering. A bunch of you are probably familiar with services like Lander. Well, Waves has recently gotten in the mastering game and created an AI service to master your music for you. Waves has been a staple for music production for years and years, and they've taken a lot of time to make their mastering service sound incredible. Now, I personally fancy myself a mastering engineer, so I still prefer to master my music, and I'm sure a lot of you might as well, but for any of you that don't think you're that good at mastering or you just lack the tools to know how to do it, this is a great solution for getting commercial masters that you can release. Let's take a look at how this service works and compare it to other forms of mastering. So it's super simple. You just log into your account and click on add tracks. From there, you just navigate to whatever your pre-master is and go ahead and select go master. It'll take a second for it to load into the system and essentially master the song. But once it's done, you have a bunch of options you can choose from to customize this master. Once it's ready, you can click preview master and it'll show you a preview of the song you're working on. Now to the left here are all of the ways we can manipulate and listen to this sound. So if I go ahead and press play, we can jump between the master that Waves has done and the original version. 
Now, obviously, the original is much quieter, so we can also click this volume match knob in order to adjust for that. You can see how Waves' master has really upped the fullness and brightness of the track. But maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want this to be a little bit more of an organic style master. Well, I can click on that button and it'll instantly let us hear what that sounds like. Maybe I want it to be more elevated and more intense. What's really awesome as well is this add tone feature that they've added, which really allows you to add depth and presence to the track. Any of these parameters, if you're ever confused, you can hover your mouse over and it'll actually show you what it means. But I kind of like the way elevated sounds and let's play with adding some tone to this. So I'm liking how elevated and present sounds. And what's even further cool about this is that you can add reference tracks as well. So if you click on this add reference button, I can actually upload a reference track from my computer. So I store a lot of reference tracks in a folder called reference. This is a kind of like melodic house song of mine. I'm going to use Drugs from Amsterdam by Mao P as a reference. So it'll take a second, it'll load up that reference, and it's basically going to shape and shift your master to fit that reference more. Something that I use a lot when I actually master my music. Let's take a listen to what this master sounds like compared to Lander mastering, as well as compared to my own mastering. So here we have the Waves master in pink, Lander master in light blue, and then my master in purple. So we'll just kind of jump between these and really listen to the differences and kind of make a decision from there. Now after comparing these, I still think my master is by far the best, but I fancy myself a mastering engineer. Most producers out there are not mastering engineers, and rather than spending tons and tons of money mastering a song and dealing with another person to have to do that, you can get great results really quickly and very affordably with services like these. Now I do think the Waves Master sounds better than the Lander Master, but honestly, it can sometimes be a toss up depending on the source material and the reference tracks used. I do think Waves has done an incredible job with this tool, and I would highly recommend this to anyone who is looking for that AI digital mastering assistant. Now, finally, we have Mastering the Mix's new plugin, Fuser. Fuser is an incredible tool for fixing masking issues in your mix. It utilizes AI and dynamic EQ to solve the problem of two sounds occupying the same frequencies at the same time, and it does it with ease. Let's take a look. All right, let's start by listening to this idea I have in Ableton. So now if we solo the lead in the chord, I'm noticing a lot of masking going on. They both occupy a similar place in the stereo field and they have very similar frequencies. And right now I feel like my lead is sort of being tucked behind the chords in a way that I don't want. Let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like. Especially if we listen to kind of these first strums of the chord, the chord really sticks out and kind of masks that lead sound. So in order to fix this, we can simply grab Fuser and place it on the sound that we want to be the more submissive sound. So in this case, I want those chords to duck behind the lead. So I'll go ahead and put Fuser on the chords. 
From there, you're gonna wanna select the sidechain input on the plugin. So in this case, in Ableton, it's super easy. You just come down here and select lead. For other DAWs, you know, there's slightly different ways to do this, but it should be pretty straightforward. And from there, we can go ahead and open up Fuser. Now in Fuser, this process is super simple. Once you've selected the sidechain input, all you're gonna do is click this resolve conflicts button while the two tracks are playing, and we'll be able to get a really awesome automatic adjustment to reduce those masking frequencies. So let's take a listen. You'll notice yellow and red bars. Basically the yellow bars represent anywhere on the sides of the mix that there's overlapping frequencies and the red bars are anywhere more in the middle of the mix where there's overlapping frequencies. So you'll notice right away, Fuser created two nodes. One node centered at about 334 hertz and then another centered at around 657. You have to remember that these are not EQ static moves. These are dynamic EQ nodes, meaning that centered at around 334 and centered at around 657, there's going to be a focus to reduce those frequencies dynamically based on the frequencies of that lead sound. You'll also notice that the actual node itself right here says S, which means side, and this node says M, which means mid. What's great about this plugin is it intelligently knows is the overlap more in the middle of the mix or is it more on the sides of the mix? And we'll actually adjust for that. So let's just go ahead and listen to what this sounds like on and off to kind of really focus in on what it's able to do to the masking issue. So I'll start with it on, turn it off and kind of go back and forth a couple times. And let's just really quick repeat the first chord so you can really hear the difference between it on and off. So we'll start with it off. We could also make this effect more dramatic so we can really hear what it's able to do. Bring down some of these nodes. What I've noticed is a really great way to use this plugin is to over-dramatize the effect and then utilize the mix knob to actually bring it back down to a more reasonable place. You should really be able to hear how much clearer the lead sound is on top of that chord sound now. Let's hear this back in the context of the full mix, and I'll go ahead and turn it on and off again a couple times. So it's done a fantastic job at making sure that lead is the dominating feature of the idea. And a fun bonus tip, you can actually adjust the input gain of the plugin based on its suggestions to help bring back the volume that you might have lost from the reduction. So if we go ahead and play this, you'll notice this little white arrow increases or decreases based on what the plugin suggests you do to the input gain. So you can really hear how those transient buildups, those frequency buildups that were kind of just annoyingly on top of one another, especially on those downbeats, completely gets removed with a plugin like this. Pretty awesome. And there you have it. 
Producer Copilot, Waves Online Mastering, and Mastering the Mixes Fuser are all brand new, awesome AI technologies to help your production process. And look, we know there are a lot of you out there who think that using any sort of production shortcut is some form of cheating, and if you don't want to use this stuff, don't use it. But the reality is, it's not going anywhere, and the sooner you know about all the tools you have at your disposal to help your creative process or to accelerate it, the better. If you're interested in learning more about how you can take your productions to the next level, be sure to check out our Hyperbits Masterclass, and also be sure to go to our website and check out all the free resources we have as well. Thanks for sticking around, hope you enjoyed this video, and happy producing.